Welcome to part three. Let's continue our chess uh, code design here. So the first uh, surface I want to create here is this small surface from here to here. And it's going to be a very quick surface. Um, also, I want to um, point out to that <clears throat> the small surface actually drops in in that way. All right. So we have to take that into account. So let's make a sketch on the top lane first. No multiple file. And we're just going to come in here, grab a spline. And drop it somewhere on the front edge here. And like I mentioned before, the more spline points we have, the harder it is to get it. The harder it is to get a very smooth surface. So um, I always uh, try not to make too much spline point if if I have a chance. I'm going to click on that line and just drop this spline point control points on here. Just have a look at what we got. I'm actually happy with that. I'm going to exit this sketch. And I'm going to make another sketch. On plane 2. Actually to create. To actually create this surface what I'm trying to create now. It's, uh, it's multiple ways to do it. And the way I'm doing it now. I wouldn't say it's the best way. Right. But I think the way the surface is just so simple, we can easily get away with um with um with this type of surface curvature that this this type of curvature that we're going to make. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So because this surface is actually drops in, in that way. First curvature I want to create is this top one here. And because we drop this line right at the edge, right? The second sketch I'm going to make is I'm going to make that on plane two. I'm just going to grab this line here. I'm just going to draw it from here, really there. Drawing is not really the best. I mean the blueprint. Oh, we got some work to do on this one. Actually, let me delete this one here. All right. And instead, let's do it this way. Click here. Just simply down here. And we're going to pull that up. Yeah, here. And I'm just going to add a whole bunch of spine point on that. Well, not that much, but a few. On here. All right. <clears throat> Once I've done that, I need to get out of the insert spine point, get back on the line, click back on the line. And I'm going to add my display plug and polygon on that. Now I can just this curvature the way I want it. The first thing I want to do is I want to come in here, click this handlebar. I'm going, I want to fix that horizontally. And then I'm going to go back on my control points here. And get the cutout we're looking for. Oh, 
Okay. Just fix it up here a little bit. Bring that down here to have that curvature there. And again, I can always click on the line and add our control, add our um, curvature columns. Let's see. Okay. Let's move out of that. All right. So what I'm saying that I was saying before, there's um, we're going to do a projected curvature here from these two scratches. But really, it's, it's it's just because it's the first surface that we're creating, and we really need a reference to start our design from. Uh, this is not the best way to create any surfaces, but uh, because this uh, surface is so simple, we can get away with it. So I'm just gonna gonna check a few things. I'm gonna click on front plane here. Okay, that's good. I'm just going to press uh, projector curvature here and click on this one. This one. Press OK. And then I'm going to uh, check it from this angle here. If we come and zoom in here, you can see that our sketch is actually not in a bad place, actually. Uh, we can tweak that a little bit too for that. To accommodate this edge here. Well, actually, I'm pretty happy with that because we do have that here. So let's check from the front and on the front, this perfectly uh, dropped the curvature. So I'm pretty happy with that. And then that's where we were. That's what we were going after. That the first curvature is going to be this upper section here. And in the front and the second curvature we're going with the top sketch we're going to go a bit further in all right so the second one we're going to make a sketch at the top lane again and going to offset this sketch that we already made on the first uh first time to, oh, on the first curvature that we made so that if we offset that we're going to be quite perpendicular with this one so I'm gonna set that to two and that I think is gonna do us perfectly yeah okay and I want to uh, extend this sketch a little bit. I want to make sure that this line, this line, our tangent. Okay, and the second sketch we want to make is the lower section on this on this uh, plane here on on plane two. Let's make a sketch on plane two. Um, it's going to be. We could probably uh, offset this one that we already made first time. And see if it works. If not, we're gonna make another sketch. But I don't think it's gonna work because the curvature is different. Yeah. So we're going to, gonna have to make a new sketch completely. Let's go to our um, curvature. And because our first sketch is here, I wanna just so that second sketch somewhere here. But I wish I could see the other one. Now, um, 
So, yeah. So let's, first of all, let me make an offset from this one and just make that zero. And then we will delete it after. Um, yeah. Just so where we see where the first one is. And then, then we're gonna make a sketch. Curvature somewhere here. So now we can see roughly where the first line is. And we can, uh, Yeah, so let's delete that. And let's grab a curvature again and just drop it from here down here. I'm just gonna pull it up, same time, same thing. We're gonna do the same thing like we did with the first one. Okay, and we're going to add a bunch of spline points on that. Just bring up our control points. I can go, you can go a bit further out because essentially the curvature that is going to give us is, is what we are after. Because we're projecting the curve, so it will intersect each other. So, um, just um, tweaking this line first as much as possible. Pull this in a bit forward out of the way. And again, if what I want to do here is click on that, grab the hang of the ball. And fix it horizontally. So, uh, of course, there's another way you can do that. Like, if you're willing to um, experiment, if you make this into one surface and then you just cut out this shape here. I think I went a bit too low on that here. I think that's it for now and then later if you're not happy with the surface we can always come back here and, and, and adjust, adjust, adjust things with it <clears throat> okay um let's do projected curve out of this two curvature we have to go back actually and then delete the top one because we don't need that Let's take this curvature, this curvature, and first, okay. So now if we jump over to our second display state, we can have a look at our two curvatures. Alright, that's not too bad, actually. So let's add a little bit of profile to these curvatures by uh, going to sketch and choose a 3D sketch and really what, what I'm trying to accomplish here is a very minimal amount so I drop that on the line and I pull it until it 
uh, attaches itself to the edge. The same thing down here. And this will be my control control curves. Okay. I'm with that. So let's add a little profile on this one first. Really minimal. Like that. Again, very minimal. And I'm just gonna jump into a bundle surface. Select the two curvatures. And then we select our two directions. That's one. And that's it. That's a good quote. I'm happy with that. And we're going to um just check in the mirror section here. Um <clears throat> Again, set from front plane for the mirror plane, and to select faces. All right, so thank you very much for staying with me in this part two tutorial, and see you back in part uh, three.